Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and it is my pleasure to bring you a video that uh, shows you how to do the animated explode. And so, as you can see, the animated explode allows you to take an assembly and show exactly how it goes together or comes apart, whichever you prefer. And the reason why this can be so powerful and important is because if you're like me, uh, a real nerd, uh, you're very much accustomed to uh, envisioning things in 3D. You are um, actively designing systems. You, you have a great imagination, a three-dimensional imagination. Um, and the thing is, when you're in an organization, especially if you're going to uh, go for funding or trying or try to explain something to uh, for example, upper level managers who may not be as good at that uh, as you are, uh, it can be incredibly important to uh, show people uh, in, in this beautiful way how things go together and come apart. Um, in some cases, it's, it could mean getting the funding or not. And so it can literally uh, be a multi million dollar, um, have a multi million dollar value. Uh, because some of these projects uh, can be really complex and some of them, um, you know, have a lot of components that um, aren't always understood. So anyway, um, the way to do it now is with this wonderful animation designer package and uh, this little option called Animated Explode. Uh, if you're using the animation designer and you know about it, you know that you can do these joints and you can do these motors and you can get incredibly complex about um, creating... Uh, I'll call it a choreography for a number of components. Uh, that said, uh, with the Animated Explode, it's a little bit more freeform. It's a little bit um, easier because all you have to do is select the component and give it a move. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, as you can see, the first step, though, is to create all your rigid groups. And the rigid groups um, can be different from your uh, components. Um, if it's just your components, of course, you can hit this button, adopt assembly constraints or joints and couplers, and that will take your uh, present uh, assembly and take all the components and make every component a rigid group. But the reason why that's not always practical is because in many cases, you want to group a number of things together. For example, these two connectors, if you want them to move in concert, you can make a rigid group out of the two connectors and just, you know, pull them in, in one go. So that's why um, you say uh, you create rigid groups. Of course, when you're creating rigid groups, you can um, put names uh, to each uh, set of things that you select. And then um, it's much easier to keep track of. Uh, then the very next thing and almost the, the, the final thing you've got to do is go to the um, animated explode right here. Uh, sometimes you have to put the filter. You have to change the filter. And for example, I'm going to select the, the uh, we, we call it the outer case. It's a rigid group, outer case. I'm going to specify an orientation like so. I'm going to make it do this. I'm going to make it do that. I'm going to make it rotate a little bit. And that becomes a, um, that becomes a animated explode move, if you will. Now, as I did that, um, I had left the uh, original uh, move on, and so it didn't take. So I'm just going to suppress that. It's a little mistake, but that's real life. I'm going to say Animated Explode again. I'm going to select it again. I'm going to say Specify Orientation. I'm going to move it up in the Y direction. I'm going to move it in the negative Z direction. And just for giggles, I'm going to give it a little bit of rotation like that. Cool. And now, as I open up the tool, you can see that I can um, edit the start times and the duration. So I want this case to uh, start by just uh, going uh, up by 124, 124 millimeters. I could change that to here. Um, and that's the start time, zero. The duration is one. So that brings me to the start time of the next event. Um, if I wanted to pause, instead of one here, I'll put 1.5. And then my duration is one. And then the, um, the next event has to start uh, 2.5 at the summation of those. Um, the, the last event, by the way, I'm going to use uh, two seconds as the duration and it's going to rotate 35 degrees. Great. And then I can name it. I'm going to just name it 
Steve, because I kind of like that name. Um, it'll be very easy to remember, and I'll say OK. So now, um, well, look at that. I must have done this once before. OK, so now, um, in order to show that, I'm going to suppress everything else, all the other uh, uh, explodes, animated explodes. And I'm just going to test this one. And I love how immediate this is. I love the fact that, you know, you really don't have to uh, recompile or whatever. You could just hit the play button and see what happens. So there you go. So now I have um, a new move, if you will. And I'm going to put back all the others so we can take a look and see everything all at once, like so. And I'm going to hit the play button. And there it goes. Um, now, one of the things that I just saw is that when this happens, let me just stop it. Um, and let's go to the uh, timeline because this is a really powerful tool uh, when you're doing this uh, because it enables you to go slowly. There we go. And show what's going on. So you grab the little arrow. And um, what I can see is there's two screws that are coming out simultaneously with the case coming up. And in reality, those two screws have to uh, go out before. It's the, um, the little uh, chip there and the two screws. They have to go out before the uh, Steve move. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take the Steve move and I'm going to move it in time. Just grab it and move it like that, like so. Let's edit it. And I'm going to start it at um, one. Okay, so it's going to be, I'm sorry, uh, start time one, duration one, uh, start time two, duration one. Okay, so now it makes more sense. So I was able to double click on it in the uh, in the timeline. Um, and now if I go back, you can see what's happening is the screws come out first and then a second later, the uh, case goes up. OK, so it's really, really nice that you can do things in the timeline um, and you can be so um, you can get down in such resolution with this thing. All right, so I like all of that. Now, when I play the video, it goes all the way through. And as soon as it stops, everything just snaps back, just like, just like, wait for it, that. And what I'd like it to do is just go back uh, the way it came, go back, uh, let's call it more gently. Uh, and so I'm going to uh, hit the fit button. Uh, in the uh, in the uh, timeline, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to right click and say mirror. And so now um, what I've done is I've um, duplicated all of this stuff in reverse. That would be very hard to do without the ability to go into the timeline and just edit it like that. And so now when I play the the animation, as you can see, it, it does all the machinations, and then it will do them in reverse because I just mirrored everything. So now all the uh, circuit boards are going back in, the little plugs are going back in, the uh, cases are going back in, and finally the screws. So uh, this tool is amazingly powerful. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, I hope you get huge uh, use out of it. I hope it's the key thing that allows you to really describe to somebody who may not um, understand how you're how your assembly uh, goes together. I hope it's the key thing that uh, gives them that understanding because I think what we've all learned is you can have this fantastic design, but sometimes if you don't communicate it between cross-functional groups, you can have very, very expensive mistakes that happen and, and mis miscommunications. Um, and that is what's behind a, um, almost, you know, in some cases, millions of dollars of mistakes. Um, if you think about, uh, you know, some mistakes that you've seen even maintenance mistakes like a door blowing off of a, of a plane 
you know, somebody who was reading the maintenance manual maybe didn't realize that they should put those bolts in, they left the bolts out, whatever. Communication is, is huge. Sometimes the design's fantastic, but if it's not communicated well, um, you can really have these big failures. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, doing these videos is quite the uh, uh, joy for me, and I love it that I get such great feedback. Um, it's really nice to share all of this, so please help us out by uh, subscribing and uh, telling about a thousand of your closest friends. Like and subscribe, and uh, see you online. Thank you very much.